Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, a little while ago, I had a uh, customer that most people will never see and never want to. I had a woman, young-ish black lady, come in, um, and she has a routine. What she usually does is she grabs stuff she thinks she wants and brings them to the register with obviously not enough change and she leaves her stuff at the register wait, making other people wait behind her while she goes to her car and gets more money. And she's done this three times with me. Uh, I'm okay with putting up with it, sort of. I know she has eight adult ADD or something wrong with her uh, and she makes it other people's problem. But um, this one night she decided to I was already in a bad mood and I was trying to calm down from something else and she went out of her way to make my bad day even worse on purpose. Uh, first we she brings up things that they're more expensive they already have prices on them she wants me to price check them anyway fine. You've got some one item alone is $5.99 then she tells me that she only has one card and it only has six dollars on it. And I'm thinking, why are you bringing me six items, one of which is loan is $5.99? I'm like, okay, I'll ring you up. And meanwhile, after she does her shopping at the register and instead of in a store like usual, um, she's getting two and three customers behind her because she likes to take her time. Again, this is not overly uncommon. I, I, we try to get customers through as fast as possible to not make anybody else wait. Uh, but I was the only register open at the time, unfortunately, so I had to make the others wait. And I apologized to them while she went to her car and took about five minutes to get more money. When she brought the money back, it was pink. Very pink. And sticky. In fact, I could when I was trying to count it, I could pick it up and move my hand back and forth and it stayed put. Uh, it, it was as if somebody put it in a hot tumbler with red hots giving it a nice thorough evenly distributed coating of red dye and sugar. So this change was definitely not something that even the bank would accept and she's expecting me to accept it and I'm trying to count it I'm thinking I've got to call the manager to make a decision here because I don't know if we can accept this. I can't mix it in with my other change. I can't give it back out to other customers. They'd complain about me giving them bad change. It's destroyed money. It's no longer considered legal tender. So I'm having a trouble with counting it and I'm trying to wipe it off and the stuff wouldn't come off. And I told her it's sticking to my hands. Why is it sticky? And she says, my hands are sweaty. They're not sticking to my hands. And I'm thinking, okay, so she lives like a pig and she's used to this. Okay. Um, before I had the chance to uh, call the manager, though, I told her I, I will accept the change. And she didn't want to let me finish my sentence. She says, well, I don't like, she thought I said I won't accept the change. Uh, she's like, well, I don't like the way you're treating me. I think you're treating me wrong. I don't like this, and blah, blah, blah. You just lost a customer. And I'm I'm going to leave. And I said, please, you know, please don't. She said, I'm not coming back to the store. I told her, please don't. Seriously, please don't. Good riddance. Uh, because she causes more trouble than she's worth. And... She goes out of her way to make everybody's day miserable, and she knew I had a bad day, and she could tell, and she tested my patience and tested my patience. And there are other details I'm not mentioning, but this particular individual, uh, I hope you don't come back because you're a piece of trash, and the only thing you can bring into my store is more filthy trash that I have to deal with, and you treat me like trash, and you mess up the store, and you buy far fewer items than it pays they pay me to wait on you
as far as time equaling money, the amount of time I'm wasting on you is less than than uh than what you're buying. So you really are even financially not worth it. Uh, I hope you go to another store who is willing to tolerate you and and maybe you can find your own little uh, niche somewhere doing something time consuming and keeps you busy. And maybe you won't keep everybody else busy waiting on you, including legitimate customers that are behind you. And I, again, I can't help but apologize to all my legitimate customers for having to wait in line behind her all those times she came in. I, I can't control that what somebody wants to do at my register. I can only just um, put up with them and serve them the best I can. So for the rest of you, I'm sorry. But um, I'm not apologizing for saying uh, that please don't come back to my store to pink change lady because I just can't be sorry for that. I'm sorry for your mother. That's it.